everyone will know that Laura Muir is just biding her time behind. You can see her just at the back of your picture wearing that Great Britain kit with a red number on her front. She is the UK, she is the UK lead with 402.8. Like the rest of the athletes have just got to look at each other and try and figure out these minor places. Well, it's uh, on the slow side, isn't it? 54 seconds. Laura Muir, the whole field in her sights. Probably the right thing to do at this stage. Well, I'm always a little bit nervous when it's really slow, Hannah, and you fear that somebody might go down. And if you're towards the back of the field, you can get caught up in this. 73 seconds. The opening lap, Laura Muir might be more comfortable. It would have been about 10 seconds quicker. Uh, absolutely, as would Melissa Courtney Bryan. At this point yesterday, Ellie Leather, you can see her on the outside of your picture, she thought, this is going too slow. I don't want to be running this slow. So maybe Ellie Leather might swing around and have a go. I thought Alex Millard might. She's there on the inside in the rest red vest with the one on her hip. She ran a great sub-16 minute 5K. She could be in the 5K later if she wanted to, but choosing to come here, perhaps because of that great 412 personal best she ran in Watford a few weeks ago. Uh, Ellie Leather... Just on the shoulder of Melissa Courtney Bryant. Kai Malunga getting pushed super wide here. I've seen her training partner Isabel Ives make that 800 meter final, but look at, here comes Laura Muir. Let's get a clock on this. Laura Muir, same as she did yesterday, coming through with two laps to go. Maybe she's gonna test herself, see what she can do over the final 800 meters. That wasn't the change of pace we saw yesterday, but all the other athletes politely just letting Laura Muir get herself near the front and why not? Melissa Courtney Bryant will be waiting for this. She's positioned herself on the outside of Hannah Nuttall here. I feel that that's certainly to try and respond when Laura Muir just swing wide. And look at that from Ellie Leather. I love that. You've got Olympic silver medalist on your shoulder. What do you do? Push her wide a little bit. Protect your position. So we're coming up with 600 metres to go. 226 at 800 metres, another very slow lap. In fact, even slower than the first. It was outside 73 seconds. But Laura Muir, well, it'll be a test. I thought she might kick in hard there with 800 to go. It was 209 there, but she hasn't done that, Hannah. So just beginning to wind it up here nicely. And you can see the only other athlete who's broken 410 this year uh, getting into a slipstream there, uh, Millie Bryant. So Laura Muir, that is the big move. 500 metres to go. She's really put her foot down. This wasn't a slow lap. This will be a 63 or so off Laura Muir. And now she's really got into her full flow running. And Melissa Courtney Bryant in second place at the moment. Hannah Nuttall holding on for third. The athletes are spread out behind her. This, they've kicked. Everybody is really moving flat out now. Laura Muir is home and dry. She's got 300 metres to go. Thanks to a 60 second lap. Nobody could live with that change of pace. At the moment, Melissa Courtney Bryant looking okay for the silver medal, but Hannah Nuttall's closing hard. Sabrina Sinner is with her. Alexandra Millard is there. You can see as that camera pans out. Hannah Nuttall at the moment in that th bronze medal position. Melissa Courtney in the silver medal position. That gap has remained the same for the last 300 metres. Laura Muir striding away down the track. It's great to see an athlete of Laura Muir's calibre here contending this British title. And it's going to be another British win at this UK Championships for Laura Muir. She's racking up these titles. Olympic silver last year after so many years of being in and around that podium. And it's another UK title with a scintillating closing lap. Melissa Courtney holds on well for the second silver medal. And Sabrina Sinner bags herself her first senior medal. She's fourth or fifth at the indoor championships. But hats off to...